Hi, and welcome to the third in a series of demo videos for Advanced Roadmaps for Jira. In the last two videos, I provided an overview of the tool, how to schedule work in context of releases, and the planning capabilities around team capacity. In this video, I'll demonstrate the powerful capabilities available for planning, tracking, and managing dependencies in Advanced Roadmaps, as well as take a close look at our brand new dependency visualization report. Advanced Roadmaps registers dependencies via issue links between Jira issues. Out of the box, only blocked and blocked by issue links are treated as dependencies by advanced roadmaps, but you can add any other issue link types to be regarded as dependencies. This can be done by navigating from the plan dropdown into settings and then advanced roadmaps dependencies. This is accessible for admins of the Jira instance. Here you can add any other issue link types stored in the instance to be treated as dependencies by advanced roadmaps. In a plan, Issues with dependencies can be seen from either the incoming and outgoing dependencies fields or via badges at the start or end of issues. Using filters, you can quickly isolate the plan to view only the issues with dependencies. I'll also expand all the hierarchy to reveal them all. New dependency relationships can be added either by the dependency field by hovering over an issue on the timeline or from the dependency flyout of an existing issue with dependencies. Adding a new dependency, we can see there's a problem as a badge is flagged red. A conflicting dependency occurs when the end date of a blocking issue overlaps with the start date of the issue it blocks. The plan will immediately flag when this is the case by turning the dependency badge red. The flyout contains useful details to help you investigate and resolve conflicts. See what the dependencies are, who the assignee is, the status of the issue, and the lead time. The lead time represents the difference between the end date of the blocking item and the start date of the blocked item. When it's negative in red, it means there is an overlap. When you want to investigate dependencies even further, we offer the ability to filter for a specific dependency via the flyout. After filtering for a specific issue's dependencies, you can also include the entire chain of dependencies via the filter dropdown. Click this to isolate the plan to show all issues that are included across the chain of dependencies. It allows you to understand other related issues on the same critical path sequence of work and see the knock-on impact of any changes you make in the chain. For example, if an issue gets delayed, how does this impact the issues down the chain? It helps you understand the potential risks or figure out the optimal delivery of work to resolve dependencies early. In this case, simply moving the issue into the next sprint unblocks it. Fortunately, there's no knock-on impact on any other blocked items. After you've effectively added and planned dependencies on the roadmap, there's a brand new report view that will help you understand the complete picture of related work. Navigate to the dependency report to access a visual map of all related issues in a plan. It's easy to move around and navigate the paths between issues. Click on an issue to highlight the relationship chain associated to that issue. From the card menu, we can filter for that chain to isolate it, or navigate to that issue in context of the roadmap. Then from the roadmap, it's just as easy to navigate back to the isolated issue view in the dependency report. To understand all dependencies in the plan and how they impact higher level issues, we provide the ability to get a rolled up view of dependencies. Roll up to the epic level to see child issues dependencies between epics. This is available for all levels of hierarchy in your plan, including initiatives. You can also get a high level summary of your dependencies between teams via the team roll up. There are only two teams here in this plan, but the value of this is significant at scale with several more teams in the plan. The group view offers the ability to get a more detailed view of this same perspective, to very clearly distinguish dependencies within a team, as well as any dependencies that extend outside the team, any work that may require cross-team collaboration or communication. Here we can also filter for a specific issue to highlight the dependency chain in context of the team groups. So that concludes our last in a series of demos for advanced roadmaps. Over this series, we've demonstrated a broad set of capabilities available for advanced roadmaps, including capacity planning, release management, and dependency management, and more. 
We're continuously listening to feedback and working to improve advanced roadmaps with regular updates. So there's always more value coming your way. I hope these videos have been useful. Thanks for watching.